Hey everybody, welcome to mini beginner's crash course to Elasticsearch and Kibana. My name is Lisa Jung and I'm a developer advocate at Elastic. So this is a series of short videos for developers who want to get started with Elasticsearch and Kibana. In episodes 15 through 17, we learned about metric aggregations and bucket aggregations. Today, we'll talk about how we can combine metric and bucket aggregations to answer complex questions. All right, let's get started. Today's episode builds on the material covered in episodes 15 through 17. So before you get started, be sure to watch these episodes to catch up. Okay, so let's get organized here. I have two windows open side by side. On the left, I have the Kibana console. On the right, I have the part for repo. This repo contains all the aggregation requests we'll go over. And I've scrolled down to combine the aggregation section. And this is where we'll get started today. So in episodes 15 through 17, we learned about metric aggregations and the four types of bucket aggregations, such as date histogram, histogram, range, and terms aggregations. So far, we've used the metric or bucket aggregations to answer really simple questions. But down the road, we'll ask more complex questions that can't be answered with just one aggregation. For example, what if we wanted the sum of revenue per day? Well, this requires combining both metric and bucket aggregations. So first, we need to split documents into daily buckets. Within each bucket, we calculate the sum of total revenue from every document in the bucket. So what would this aggregations request look like? So let's scroll down to calculate the daily revenue. We let Elasticsearch know we're sending an aggregations request. And the first thing that we're going to do is to split documents into daily buckets. So we name this aggregation transactions per day. And since we're creating buckets based on time intervals, we run date histogram aggregation on the field invoice date. Then we set the time interval to a day. And this aggregation splits the documents into daily buckets. Now within this aggregations, we create a sub aggregations called daily revenue. And this will calculate the total revenue generated each day. Now you'll notice that this aggregation looks a little different. It has script and source here. So what's that all about? Well, let's take a look at the fields of our transaction data again. To do so, we'll send the first line of this request here. Let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. When we look at our transaction document, you'll see that it lists the quantity of items sold as well as the unit price of that item. But we don't see the total revenue from this transaction. So to get the total revenue, we need to multiply the value of the field quantity by the value of the field unit price. And this is where script comes in. So script is used to dynamically create something in Elasticsearch. And in our context, it's used to dynamically calculate the total revenue per transaction. What we're seeing here is that for each document in the daily bucket, get the value of the field unit price, then multiply that by the value of the field quantity. That will calculate the total revenue of each transaction in our bucket. Then it'll sum them all up to calculate the daily revenue. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. All right, so let's scroll down a little bit here and you'll see that it split our data into daily buckets. For example, we have one here from December 1st, December 2nd, and so on. It also includes how many documents, the transactions that have occurred that day and the revenue generated from each day. Now, a cool thing about Elasticsearch is that you could build any combination of aggregations to answer more complex questions. For example, what if we want to get the daily revenue 
and the number of unique customers per day. This requires calculating multiple metric aggregations per bucket. So let's go over how we could do that. So scroll down to calculating multiple metrics per bucket, then down to example. So all of this is exactly the same as a last request, but we're adding an additional metric aggregation within the sub aggregations here. So we're saying, okay, we'll split the data into daily buckets. Within each bucket, calculate the daily revenue. While you're doing that, also calculate the number of unique customers per day by running a cardinality aggregations on the field customer ID. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. You'll see that it splits our data into daily buckets, December 1st, December 2nd, and so on. It also includes how many documents or transactions that have occurred that day, as well as the number of unique customers per day and the daily revenue. So let's talk about sorting for this aggregations request. You'll see that by default, the buckets were sorted by dates in ascending order. But what if you wanted to identify the date with the highest daily revenue? Well, the easiest way to do this is to sort the buckets by daily revenue. If we sort it in a descending order, we'll get the bucket with the highest daily revenue up top. So let's scroll down to sorting by metric value of a sub aggregation and down to example. So this is almost identical to the last request we sent. The only difference is that we've added the order parameter below the calendar interval. We specify that we want to sort the buckets by daily revenue and we want that in descending order. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. Okay, so let's scroll down here and you'll see that the buckets are no longer sorted by dates in ascending order. So for example, the first bucket is from November 14, 2011. Second bucket is from September 20th of 2011. So this is actually sorted by daily revenue in descending order with the highest daily revenue up top. So November 14th of 2011 is a day with the highest daily revenue. And we may want to drill more into that to see what caused the spike. Okay, so we just learned about how we can combine metric and bucket aggregations to answer complex questions. So this is only the tip of an iceberg when it comes to building various combinations of aggregations. So feel free to build more advanced combinations on your own to explore what you can do. So this content is an excerpt from the Beginner's Crash Course to Elastic Stack Part 4. And Part 4 is a full-length workshop where I talk about metric aggregations, bucket aggregations, and how you can build a combination of these aggregations. So if you prefer the full-length workshop format, check out the link on the screen. And the link is also included in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elastic Search in Kibana.